Hello, I'm Ellen Kodiff, Editor-in-Chief of Food Channel Pro. We're continuing our video series, Leaders with Guts, with Craig Culver. Craig, you're really a people person. How do you deal with people that are difficult to get along with in your business world? <laughs> well, first of all, I try to make, make it work. Uh, but we've, we've all got some people like that, you know, in, in our different organizations. And if it's truly a detriment to the organization, you can't keep them. You can't. There's, uh, I call those people drains is what I call them. Uh, they suck the energy out, out of the people around them and bring people around them down to their level. And that cannot work in a healthy organization. So unfortunately, you know, one of the worst jobs anybody can have is telling somebody that, you know, they're, they can't be on the team anymore. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, those people have to go elsewhere. You sit on a lot of boards, especially in this in Wisconsin where you're headquartered. How do you decide who gets your time and attention? That's a great question. Uh, that's one that I just have to balance. Uh, uh, you're right. I do sit on some uh, uh, for-profit boards and uh, certainly a number of nonprofit boards as well and um, I, I look at uh, sitting on a board as, as a learning opportunity for me and I think we all have to learn you know each day we've got to try and be better than what we were before and I look at those boards as as those opportunities to learn something um, and hopefully I can give something back to them as well but it, it's a balancing act it, it is but I I, I think uh, I need, um, it's, it's education is what, what it is for me. You, you've gotten a lot of accolades, a lot of awards, and had a wonderful career in food service so far. Well, what are some of the highlights for you? You're right, so far. I'm still a youngster. Right, right. Oh, highlights, uh, you know, heck, making it through that first year of Culver's was a, <laughs> was a highlight. <laughs> you know, hitting different milestones, like, you know, although I, I don't talk about numbers of restaurants much but you know hitting our first 50 restaurants or 100 restaurants and 400 restaurants I never dreamt you know that that wasn't the goal back when the goal was to mm -hmm. you know actually move back to my little community here and have my family here and live happily ever after that truly was my goal and on top of you know good things happened along the way uh, what do you do for fun and I know you like to golf, I know you're a wine mm. collector. What else do you like to do for fun? And how much time do you allot for fun? Uh, well, I like to travel. I mean, mm. Lee and I, we, we like to, we were in France earlier this year. We like to take wine trips, we do, and see what's going on in, in, in that world. Uh, we love food. Um, you know, when I'm traveling, I like to visit uh, food spots similar to ours, see if we can learn something from them. But I love high-end food as well. Uh, so food is, I'm surrounded by food, I am. I, whether I'm at work or, or at play, mm -hmm. uh, we, we love food, we really do. I have three wonderful daughters and we love to do things uh, with them as well. We love it when they're all home. Uh, we've, we just purchased a home in Scottsdale. And so, we, you know, I'm looking, I haven't spent a night there yet, uh, mm -hmm. but I'm looking forward to spending a few days there in the in the winter months as well. And, and from your travels, what would you consider the best food city in the world? Your hometown, Chicago. <laughs> I love Chicago. I do. And of course, mm -hmm. we, you know, we have the NRA show there every year. But Chicago is one of the the greatest food cities that I've certainly experienced, and I've been to most of the cities, as a matter of fact. But you know, you go to Las Vegas as well. Las Vegas today with Mm -hmm. With its the the casinos and hotels with their great restaurants, uh, there's there's something as well. But I love Chicago. You know, you've always struck me as very down to earth, and what you see is what you get. But what's the most complicated thing about Craig Culver? Mm. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm pretty simplistic. I think that's a that's a. a um, I guess you'd have to ask somebody else that question. Well, I'm a little surprised you're a wine connoisseur. Uh, I'm, 
didn't say it was a connoisseur. I said I, <laughs> I, I, I love wine is what I that's, do. That's a complex subject uh, when you get into it. Wine is a, it's just a neat thing. You know, like a lot of other people, I started drinking sweet wines. And, and there's nothing wrong with sweet wines. Mm -hmm. But uh, it just grew over the years. And mm -hmm. my wife enjoys it as well. But I don't look at that as complex. Uh, I don't. You show up most openings of Culver's and you consider yourself a cheerleader for their business. Who's your cheerleader? Where do you get your cheers when you need them? Well, I've had mentors along the way. I, uh, you know, different people that I've worked with uh, over the years, different people that I didn't work with that I just observed. You know, uh, they were certainly great mentors of mine, but today, uh, uh, you know, different golfers, just uh, how they, Andy North, for example, actually a friend of mine. I mean, he's such a cool guy, he's a down-to-earth guy, and yet he's a U.S. Open champion twice uh, and a, a great uh, broadcaster on ESPN and stuff, and just a regular guy. You know, he, in my opinion, Andy would be surprised to hear this, by, by the way, but I, I, I mean... Yeah, I, I'm, I marvel at that. I think, wow, I have so much respect uh, for people like that that are humble, mm -hmm. and yet they are so good at what they do. I think that's a special quality. You know, since day one of Culver's, you've been the pre predominant visionary for this brand. And where do you get your ideas? I mean, where do you go for your inspiration? Maybe the quiet room in your new headquarters, I don't know, but... You know, you, you dream. You do, mm -hmm. and, and that's uh, important for any CEO or any leader. They, they've got a dream, and I run some ideas off these guys that they think, oh, my God, what's he thinking now? <laughs> <laughs> Which I, uh, it reminds me of the story about Truett Cathy. When I, uh, some, of the, some of the guys there at Chick, Chick fil -A were telling me, Truett wants to serve chicken feet in the restaurants. You know? <laughs> <laughs> True it? No, we can't do that. So they tried it in one restaurant just to satisfy True it. Of course, you know it didn't mm -hmm. work. But uh, I, I'm reminded of that story, and mm -hmm. I don't think I've I've mm -hmm. thought of anything as like chicken feet in our restaurants. But certainly some probably mm -hmm. some goofy ideas along the way. Wow, thanks so much, Craig. You're welcome. We've been talking with Craig Culver of Culver's, home of the Butter Burger and Frozen Custard. Check out the next part of the series as we explore what it takes to be a leader with guts. For Food Channel Pro, I'm Ellen Kodif.